guys, my name is Ashley Salvatore from MyCoachAshley.com and today I'm going to talk to you about the ketogenic diet and exercise. Okay, so if you are just getting started or maybe you've been on your ketogenic diet for a while or maybe you've hit a plateau um, or maybe you've been told different things about exercise and the keto diet and I just want to clear some things up and give you a strategy to get your best results with the ketogenic diet. So here's the thing, when you exercise and you're burning fat for fuel, that means if you burn through all the calories that you consumed, you're burning fat. You're burning fat off your body. Now, some people will recommend doing cardio, which cardio is good in moderation, but you don't want to do too much cardio because cardio has been shown to increase cortisol levels, which that is the stress, stress hormone, and that can cause issues. And also, sometimes when people do too much cardio or are training too much, they end up overeating later on because you, you work your body to exhaustion and then your body's like, okay, I need food, and then you end up being hungry and you end up eating more. So to avoid this whole struggle, what you wanna do really is focus on strength training. Strength training, which is lifting weights, following a circuit at the gym. You know, they have a circuit like right around, you'll see it, um, machines, different machines, and they can be really intimidating at first. I know if you're intimidated at the gym, I'd love to hear it in comments. That happens to everyone, even me, after I've been to the gym for a while, when I go without the gym for a little while and work, maybe do home workouts and go back, it's like, oh, which, which machines do I use? Or if I join a new gym, then it's like, what do I do? But really, sit down at the machine, they have the directions right there on what to do, how to do it, you'll get the hang of it and you follow, just to give you a tip on that, the whole circuit that you do. You follow the numbers, so don't just hop in randomly on someone's when someone's working out because you don't want to just work out right next to them. If they're done, they're set, they're going to want to go on to the next machine. So you see the number, you want to start at number one and follow through two, three, four, and you just follow along and you just go to the next machine, the next machine. You want to make sure you're lifting heavy enough so that you are tearing the muscle fiber because that's how you build muscle and that's how you grow. Um, and you want that. You want the muscle and I'll tell you why. The reason strength training is so amazing is because we store glycogen in our muscles. And the more muscles you have, the more glycogen can be stored there. And what glycogen is, is basically carbs, sugar. When you consume any sort of carbohydrate, sugar, it's, it's stored in your glycogen until it's full to capacity. When it's full to capacity, it then spills over and gets stored as fat, okay? So, Knowing this, you know you want to have as much muscle as possible, so then let's say you reach your goal, you're feeling great, you're in great shape, you have a ton of muscle, this is your body composition, because you can weigh the same as someone else, but you can have more muscle than them, be leaner than them, be more in shape, and someone else can have more the same weight, but they can have more fat to muscle than muscle, and what happens is, when you eat something with carbohydrates, you're gonna have more storage then in your, within your muscles for the glycogen before it would end up being stored as fat. Whereas someone who is primarily, has more fat and very little muscle, if they eat a carb heavy, heavy meal or even excess carbs here or there, they're, they're, the glycogen is going to fill up the muscle very quickly and then it's going to be stored as fat. So, you do not need to have carbs in your diet. I mean, the, the breakdown, if you're following the macros, it's basically um, you want to stick to 5% to 10% of the total meals that you eat that are carbs, right? And you can build muscle with the ketogenic diet and lose fat at the same time. That is one of the benefits of this, and that's what makes it so amazing. So when you're doing strength training, the other benefit of strength training is the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn at resting, which means you're going to be burning through more fat when you're just sitting around doing nothing. So who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want to just be burning fat all day, building, building muscle and feeling great, and then you reach your goal and then you, keep, you stay at your goal, even if you start adding in little cheats here or there. I'm not talking about going off track and just being full blown back to the way you used to eat because guess what happens when you do that? You gain all the weight back. If you stop working out, you're gonna gain the weight back because your body's going to start 
transitioning back to your old body composition. So you have to adopt this as a lifestyle and you have to do something that you enjoy and you have to really like doing this. And so find a workout that you like. Um, personally for me right now, I've been working out at home. I really like Body Beast as a workout program. I'll post the link below for like the DVDs if you want to check out the DVDs. I'm not a Beachbody coach, just letting you know firsthand, but you can pick up the DVDs off of um, Amazon if you want. Um, so I like Body Beast because, you know, the guy, he's a little bit of a meathead um, and he, you know, the humor is interesting, but I listen to my headphones when I do it and I have a bench at home and I have weights. I use um, five pound, eight pound, 10 pound, 12 pound, occasionally 15 pound weights. So not a ton of weights, but I have like, you know, a good balance of weights. And I like it that it's a simple plan to follow and it's easy to set up. So that's what I do in the morning and it works. And it's a good way to get strength training in, especially if you're intimidated with the gym. Now the gym is great once you get used to it and you're not afraid of it because you know you can have some high energy at the gym and if you have time to actually get to the gym. So if you're following ketogenic diet, um, yes, you can follow it and lose weight without working out, but you want to do some strength training to start adding in there some building muscle, transitioning your body composition, and also for your overall health because it's going to improve your health because exercise has so many different benefits from your mood stabilization, but ever, I mean, there's so much benefit other than weight loss to um, exercising every day. So I, str I strongly recommend that you do pick up an exercise regimen. If you can't do any of that, but you can get out and go and like walk for 30 minutes, do that. Just get moving, get moving. Moving is amazing. Like you need to move, you need to move. If you don't move, then you're just gonna, you're, you're, it's just not good. Did that make sense? <laughs> so I hope I, I helped you clear up this little confusion about exercise because some people will say you do keto you don't have to exercise like this isn't true guys this is healthy living this is a healthy lifestyle you want to you want to be um creating in your life and you want this to be something that you can continue on forever and not just like it's not a fad like this is so, like a lifestyle that you can do for long periods of time get great results and live a healthy, happy life. So thanks guys for watching this video. I have tons of videos like this where I provide tips on the ketogenic diet. Um, I personally lost over 70 pounds with the keto diet, low carb, high fat. I'll pop the video up here so you can check it out. But thanks guys for watching and um, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are interested in this topic and if you're following the ketogenic meal plan yourself, I promise you the content I post here will definitely help you in that journey. I'll put the bubble up here. So thanks guys, take care.